One of Murphy's laws in the beef cattle business is that the wildest, craziest cow that we have in our herd is often a very good cow that we'd like to keep. But on the other hand, if she's dangerous, if she's hard on the equipment, there's a, a, a part of us that would like to say, let's go ahead and cull her and send her to town and get her out of our hair. Well, now I think we've got another good reason to go ahead and market those very, very uh, crazy cows, those that are, that are hard to handle. University of Florida scientists looked at a two-year study where they had uh, Brayford cows and British Brahmin cross cows and they looked at a disposition score on each cow and then they followed those cows through a natural breeding season where the, the cows were turned out in the pasture with uh, adequate bull power to see if the disposition of these cows actually affected rebreeding performance. The method that they used in order to determine a disposition of the cows was basically threefold. They scored them in a one through five score as they put the cows on the chute. How they acted, whether they were constantly trying to uh, shake the chute, move around, or whether they stood calmly. They also kept track of what they called the exit velocity. When they opened the, the gate, how fast those cows would exit that chute. And then the third score was just out in a pen where the cow would be in, in a pen and then a human would walk into that pen. How did the cow act? Again, all of those were given one through five scores. And then the average was the temperament score for that individual cow. Well, what they found over a two year period of time with all of these cows was that there was a very good correlation between the temperament score and reproductive performance. In other words, those cows that were more docile, calmer, had the lower disposition scores, had the higher rebreed percentage. It varied uh, in both years from about 90% on the cows that were calm to down at uh, 70% or even in the second year lower than that in terms of those cows that got the uh, average of about a five on their disposition score. And therefore, uh, those cows were the ones that were really, really berserk and crazy acting when they're on the chute. And remember, this particular study was done where the reproduction was taking place in a natural breeding pasture under no stress from, uh, from human element. But still, the cows that were wilder were ones that had the lower rebreeding performance. So I think that as we're looking at cows next fall as to which ones we might want to call, if we have some other reasons to consider her and we know that she's one of those with the poor disposition, that's a good reason to go ahead and send her on to town because she's going to be one of those that's more likely to show up in the following breeding season. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow Calf Corner.